In this video, you're gonna learn exactly why you should never do the wall squat, why it's horrible and damaging to your knees, and what you can do to protect your knees from injury. Hi, my name is Dr. Steve Young, owner and founder of Body Solutions. So it's very common in fitness videos, on TV, in the magazines, in online videos, that you see people doing wall slide squats. Basically, you lean against the wall like this with your feet forward, you slide down and back up. You might even hold it down doing certain exercises and come back up. The reason this exercise is bad for you is because it creates an imbalance in muscle activation in your knee. You basically have over activation of your quadriceps, the front thigh muscles, and no activation of your hamstring, which is sort of the posterior thigh muscles. And the reason this is bad is when you normally squat down without leaning against something, you have both quadriceps and hamstrings activation, meaning both sides turn on. And it's kind of like a tug of war effect where if both sides are pulling, the rope in the middle stays in place. Imagine if one team gave up and the other team kept pulling, that rope would slide towards that team. And in your knee, that's exactly what happens. And the problem with that is, and I have a model to show you, is that this is a knee. The knee is designed to just pivot like this. There are ligaments in place to try to prevent this knee from sliding back and forth. The reason we don't want this knee to slide back and forth is that rubs the cartilage, creates degeneration, and accelerates arthritis in your knee. This is not a pain that you will feel the moment that you're doing it, but weeks, months, and even years of this will grind your cartilage away in your knee. And it's a, a pain that you don't feel today, but you will years from now. So when you have too much activation of the thigh muscles in the front, the quadriceps, and none of the hamstrings in the back, basically your knee, as it bends, it wants to slide forward like this, okay? And again, every repetition is just rubbing that cartilage with hundreds or thousands of pounds of pressure, depending upon how much resistance you're doing. So to show you this phenomenon, I have a device on my thigh right now. It's measuring my electrical activity. In other words, it's measuring how hard are my muscles contracting. So if you look at the monitor, you'll see if I sort of tighten my quad muscles, the right vertical bar will go up. And now if I squeeze my hamstring muscles, the left vertical bar will go up. And now when I do a normal squat like this, you'll notice both the left and the right bars are activating. So in other words, my quadricep and my hamstring muscles are turning on evenly as I go up and down. Okay, now look at the bar and see what happens when I do a wall squat. So I'm just gonna lean against the wall like this, and I'm gonna squat down. And what you'll notice is when I'm down here and moving, the left bar, which is showing you my hamstring activation, it's barely turning on. It's mostly the right bar, which is my quadriceps. Okay, so lots of quadriceps, basically no hamstrings activation at all. And this is the problem, because when you're doing this and the hamstrings don't turn on, it's creating the sliding force in the knee and thus degenerating the knee. So what can you do? Well, you avoid a wall squat. You do more body weight squats because let's analyze it. How functional is it for you to lean against the wall? Yes, you're burning calories, you're working the muscles, but you have to think beyond working muscles. There's another way of looking at the body when you're trying to build the body and it's more complex than this exercise for this muscle, this exercise for this muscle, this exercise for this muscle. You want to do exercises that work your body in a functional way or it recreates how you move during the day. And if you simply just did body weight squats and if that's too easy, you don't want to load a bunch of weight onto your body, you can just bounce on one leg like this and do a one-legged squat. You can do deadlifts. All these things that require balance where you're not leaning back against something, it's so much more functional. It works on your balance, it balances out the muscle activations and your joint stress actually decreases. Right, so now there are other exercises that mimic this wall squat problem. That's gonna be your hack squat machines, your Smith machine squats, you know, those machines where the bar is guided on these poles. All of those machines, just like the wall squat, will have this uneven activation of your hamstrings to quadriceps. And it doesn't matter if you put a ball back there, as long as you're leaning against something, it's gonna promote this abnormal contraction pattern. So you need to avoid this if you want healthy knees for the rest of your life. Hope you had uh, a lot of great information from this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me by clicking on the link below, and I'll more than gladly answer your questions.